We are now like live. And hello, everybody. How you doing, everybody? Hi, there. Well, we, go, we, we weren't sure if we were live. I'm pretty certain we are now. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. And then it's like, oh. And so now I've just had this one here that's gone. Um, preview. Okay. Now we're getting there. How's your week been? While I get my shit sorted out with Amazon, how are you, how's your week been? <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's been a good week. Back back with us. I said it earlier. I got my my Mac was fixed last week. Now I've got the the little laptop back as well. So I'm now not lugging five tons of equipment down into the kitchen. <laughs> so, well, so that's no, really it's been handy, a, a, isn't it? I yeah, it's like been a, a good had, week. Had a, a, a live stream scheduled. Oh, well, and there we are. <laughs> I had a live stream scheduled and now I can't find it. So just um <laughs> just chat amongst yourselves. Tell us tell us while I while I get this sorted on my uh, my iPad for Amazon, tell us about your experience about making because this tonight's cook off challenge was mm. issued by our people last night and it was um chicken adobo and i keep calling it chicken adobe which is like <laughs> yeah so so um, that the chicken adobe is the is the pdf version obviously of yeah. chicken <laughs> adobo which is which is uh which is the uh national dish of the philippines so obviously we've got a couple of great uh philippine filipina friends that were were saying chicken adobe when we asked what do you want to cook last week um and it's one of those things and I, I did do a little full disclosure i did do a little test run on sunday and i wasn't too keen on how it turned out um but uh so i i i told bev and bev then said oh this is what i do and then she sent me a link to a recipe which was exactly the same recipe funny enough that i was using <laughs> so oh. but uh, <clears throat> but thinking of Thinking it through, uh, hi Christina. Thinking it through, um, I think I know what I did wrong. So, um, so I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I'm All right. back on so track. So, are you going to share that with? Are you going to share that with us um, as we go? I've just um, just hit hi. live on Amazon. So, if you're here on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, cool. if you're on any of the fifty channels of streaming on demand that we're on through the TV dot live networks and um, Come over and say hi on Amazon because that's where all the action's happening. It's happening everywhere, but so uh, we'd really love you to come over and join us, Amazon. And uh, if you're here in the um, in or in any of the other places, please do make sure that you're um, you, you bring your friends along because I think we're in for a bit of a laugh tonight. What do you reckon, Nick? I, I I reckon if it's anything like the last two weeks of there, it's definitely going to be uh, fun. And also, I've I, I don't know if you've got it in your carousel or if you put it together. I've got my my ninja, uh, what's it called? My Nutri Ninja uh, Auto IQ. It's I'll be honest, it scares me because it kind of <laughs> goes through the gears as it's doing stuff. But I want to do <laughs> I'm going to do cauliflower rice because obviously I'm still on my carb free. Uh, lifestyle and diet very good so so cauliflower rice i might do real rice as well just to as a just just as a just in case um just, so well, use... is, this to, is this tonight you're going to do cauliflower rice or is this um i am because it, it's because oh, it's super this super is, quick this is part of the chicken adobe adobo 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 <laughs> <laughs> the chicken adobo a dough, it is right, isn't it? God. Yeah, chicken adobo. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, so it's part of that. So uh, what you're doing, what you're, what you're cooking. Um, I did a similar thing. You you had Bev in the Philippines, and I've got a, a friend and a VA, an amazing lady who does um, who, who does a lot of work for me, and uh, she is when of course you know when. I think it was maybe those two got in cahoots and said, let's do <laughs> adobo. And I went, all right, well, you know, give me a recipe. So she suggested it. So she sent a recipe and I didn't do a a, a trial run. Oh, we've got Stephen over on uh, Amazon. Hi, Stephen. Great to see hey, you. Hey, hi, Stephen. 
thanks for joining us um yeah and uh and so i know i have a secret ingredient that i'll bet you don't have you've probably got several secret ingredients <laughs> but have it on the inside uh Filipino, this is that works. having said that i have no idea what i'm doing and i have got home today you know i live on a boat as you know um and if you yeah. uh if you're first time joining us and you don't know well i'm coming to you from my boat in uh, beautiful brisbane uh just off of the shores of Coochie mudlow island and nick is coming to you from the uk uh, where, where's your location in yeah i'm live in sunny farnborough hampshire this is the the birthplace of British aviation. Can you believe it? Thanks to a big balloon factory back in 18. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I did not know that. So fun fact, eh? Oh, yes. No, literally, but a pointless piece of information. About 500 metres to my right um, was a guy, uh, William Cody, his name. And he was the first man in the UK to actually have powered flight. So just mm. after the Orville uh, the, uh, just after the Wright brothers, um, about two years later, he did it in Farnborough. Crashed, obviously, uh, the way you do. Um, he, he had to work Actually. on his landing. <laughs> but uh, but basically, yes, he he was making kites for the for the army uh, and balloons, and basically he just stuck an engine in a kite. <laughs> oh, went went yeah, tally ho. Tally ho, folks! Let's go. And uh, and then was immortalised. In uh, well, in Farnborough, I don't think many people know um, William Cody. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, there you go, it's a local thing, a local legend. But us, to our, oh, absolutely, to us in Farnborough, he is, yeah. And I think his family still are around, so it's nice, nice to see. Yeah. So, well, so that's good. let's so, just have a chat about that coat you have on before we start. Oh, this way around. <laughs> oh. Yes, it is, of course, the Raymond Blanc School of Cookery. <laughs> yeah, had to had to do it, and it was it was a I had a, I had a great time when I was there. It's really it's really really nice, and we we got taught some incredible things, and uh, and to this day I still do them. At the, we did a we we'll have to do it one week. The, we did an amazing uh, summer ratatouille, and I'd been brought up obviously in the UK. Ratatouille's had always been rather gluggy and pretty dull, to be honest. Uh, yeah, totally changed my mind on Ratatouille. Totally changed my mind on Couscous. Amazing stuff. So, so yeah, so that's, uh, I did do a little bit of cooking back in the day, but not, you know, not professionally. You know, only, and, of course, I only put it on because, you know, you put your super, super uh, shirt on yourself, and I see that's another one. It's another Have you got one. A whole set? Luke, Luke, if you're here, I need some more. I'm running out, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Luke is a friend of Nigel's and myself, and he is an amazing Indigenous artist. And so um, I actually found this. This is the thing. Fabar is the company that produces and sells them. But uh, he thought this one was um, like not that. made for... Someone my size, but I'm thinking if we do enough cooking. <laughs> I like that. Is that a, so so is that a dingo on the front? I think it's a kangaroo. Oh, kangaroo. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't see the bottom bit. Oh yes, that, oh, yeah, cool. Joey. Now I can yeah, now it looks like a kangaroo with a little Joey in his pouch. Yes, what I'm doing. So are we gonna, are we gonna <laughs> hop over to the cooker? <laughs> Well, well, next next time I wear it, we'll do kangaroo steaks. How tacky is that? Oh, nice, nice. We're, the, them, yeah. we're the only um, country, I believe, that eat our national emblems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. I talk about national emblems. I made the schoolboy error uh, last week, and she called me out on it and put it on social media. People might have seen it. We were we were putting the when we were putting the the um, the, ten, the thumbnails together. And I was saying to Bill, I said, look, yeah, we want to put a lion. So we've got the lion and the kangaroo. And I said, the, the lion is our, our national emblem, you know, our football shirt, three lions on the shirt. And uh, and Bev said, oh, in the Philippines, our national em our national animal is a caribou or a caribou. Ooh. And not, <laughs> I'd never heard, I'd never heard of a caribou. So I said, 
Oh, is that a bird? Oh, man. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm now very much aware that it is a big water buffalo type thing that ploughs the fields and is strong. I got a good educated, I was educated. See, so it's all right to ask questions because that way you get educated. Oh, hey, we've got uh, Anne Jo here. Hey, how are you? Hi, Anne Jo. Shout out to, I call her Joanne, but Anne Jo, you know, she loves to <laughs> eat. She's, she's responsible for the amazing um, frames that we've got. And oh, they're lovely. They're lovely. They're really good. Um, and she's done the recipe, which I didn't follow. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, now see, we're, we're not a million miles away on our recipes by the looks of that. We'll just hide that one. Okay. All right. So, what ingredients have you got? Because I'll just show you. Um, okay. Well, I actually... where, you're, where you're from, if you're in watching in, on Amazon, and if you or if you are in. Um, in Facebook land or anywhere else, just jump in and please let us know where you're from. Love to hear from you. Okay, so let me try and show you. Uh, this is my chicken that's been marinating. So in there, that is, I've got, uh, I'm using chicken thighs, um, and that's marinating with soy sauce, bay leaves, and garlic, and nice. white wine vinegar. Mm. And that's been sat there for about an hour okay so this one is mine that's been uh, marinating here that's been marinating for about an hour as well and oh nice i had a choice of white vinegar um apple cider vinegar and rice wine vinegar so i chose the rice wine vinegar mm. because that sounded like it's probably the most because I use that on my pokey bowls. One of you, oh, you got choices too. Yeah, I, I, I too was not sure which one to use, but I did go with the white wine in the end. Okay, so I got rice wine. You got white wine. Yeah. And um, the inch other thing that I forgot totally forgot to do was get soy sauce. I had a shipping list, and I got everything except the soy sauce. So, oh, and the bay leaves. And um, the, like, seriously, I've got the chicken, all right? That's all I got. And now we're making hey, the that, that, that is the main component of chicken adobo. <laughs> it is the main component. Hey, look at this. Woohoo! Go on, get Yay, it. Yay, yes, Bev. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking we should, yeah. maybe we should connect. Um, Bev and Anna Jo, but those two might get, you know, like in cahoots and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Like yeah, no, I'm... <laughs> no, no pressure. <laughs> but if I don't win this, Bev will not talk to me for weeks. <laughs> you got your family. Bev, you and Anna Jo get the, the, get the shout out for, uh, for tonight's recipe. And while we're doing this, have a think about what you'd like us to cook next week. I think we decided cool. anything that had this please. No, we've got, we've got nothing planned for next week. What I would say, actually, um, Adair, is because you've got such a beautiful, like I can say, I, I'm hoping you haven't moved again this week, um, but you've got such a beautiful scenery um, outside your boat. I think it'd be lovely for everyone to actually see it. So I think next week, if we go a little earlier, if we go uh, six, is it daylight six o'clock in Australia? It's it's gonna it will be pushing it a little bit, but I'll I'll give see if I can put in the background and give a little bit of an idea. Uh, yes, it would. It's as it gets into summer, it starts to um, get dark at uh, probably six between six and seven. This time of year, it's around five five thirty. So. Uh, All right. Hey, well, we can always we can always do. That 535. I'm, I'm, I'm up. Now, oh, yeah. Oh, you just got a little glimpse of the uh, the boat in the background there. That's nice. And, uh, 
Yeah. Please let people know that we're live. We'd love to have you along. We want to have people voting on uh, taste, smell, placing up. I think I said on the scale of one to ten at the end of it, would you uh, would you rate us? Um, yes, we'll eat your meal, or no, we'd rather go to McDonald's. So I'm not quite sure how you rate that, but it was just you know a bit of a random, a random. Yeah. Thing. So. Um, so yeah, we are um, we're ready to go. Now what I've done, you've got your bay leaf, your chicken and your rice wine and I've yep. got that and the secret sauce apparently is the pineapple. So this what looks a bit mustard like. That's um, it's pineapple. And I Ooh, think the recipe said to use the use the um, Oh, what do you call it? The juice out of the pineapple to marinate. Oh, okay. Controversial. Yeah. Controversial. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure which part of the Philippines you're from, but I'm. Ooh, I'm... <laughs> I should put some coconut milk in there too. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Mm, no, I'm not the dad. Hey, I, I guess our audience will decide, but you know, I, I call me old fashioned boy. Rice. I like to go I by the recipe. Bit. Joanne's going to be, it tastes terrible. It's your own fault because you didn't follow the recipe. <laughs> I do have bay leaves. I forgot to get bay leaves as well. But I do have fresh grown basil. Nice, and nice. Now, I, actually, now the thing is, and I, I think I'm right in saying this, I'm sure I'll be corrected if not. The the, the whole point of chicken adobo is it's, uh, it's like a tangy, there's like a tangy flavour to it, hence the wine oh. and the the the, white, white, the the wine vinegar it's like a bit of and of course garlic and onions and things like that well this is i and asked joanne you know, my resident guru on this and i asked joanne if, if um in the absence of soy sauce could i use coconut amino seasoning can you see that yep it's all back to front and upside down yeah. anyway she said yes that's fine here <laughs> yeah really i think you're fine. just doing chicken stew <laughs> <laughs> this is not not chicken adobo this is chicken a dare <laughs> <laughs> it is i've identified it um this is actually a, a substitute for fish sauce for the pad thai that we cooked last oh, week yeah nice so you can use coconut aminos if you're a vegan but this is i mean it's just as the whisper um, and I thought, well, maybe that would work because I've got nothing else. Oh, I wish to share sauce, but I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad there's not a taste test at the end of this. <laughs> at least, at least a day you could be able to taste it and go, oh, it is exactly like it should be. <laughs> Do that off camera. Okay, Roz is saying uh, she's here for now, popping over to Amazon if she can get there. Roz, you are a legend. Nice one, let's Roz. Just, let's just have some celebration. Oh, snow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to show you maybe if you go, because Nick, we are live on my channel this week and back on Nick's next week but i'm going to give you both links oh nice and play some thinking music oh. dum -de -dum -de -dum. i know cara can't stay but uh she's she's amazing cara barry she does uh frequencies and the like oh really fascinating oh, okay. yeah she's a She's 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 so lovely. And I, I interviewed her last year. She's absolutely amazing. Lives up in Scotland on a farm oh, with her wow. husband and two lovely daughters. But uh, yeah, really nice. Well, we truly are international. So here we, we go. Yeah, we so sure are. That camera on. And that on. Roz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to get my. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me pointing at me up like that. I, won't do that. <laughs> I love it. That's next week's. Now what you'll see is um you'll see once I just pop up, you go to nickwood.live. 
that's his website we'll take you to his amazon page uh you give us a you're a darling carla thank you for joining us um <laughs> we're live on his amazon site next week this week we are live here so yep. pop over to Monty tv and one day we're even going to surprise ourselves and be live on amazon in both places we we are there is there is a way we can do it but that would mean not using our beloved be live.tv so that's a great opportunity to have a shout out for be live because this is oh, the best, yeah. without by far one of the best streaming platforms that um that i've had the pleasure of working with and working as um you know beta tester and being on their community moderation team and they are amazing i've built a fantastic community over on facebook it's a big shout oh, out to you guys. they they have and it is about one of the most supportive facebook communities i've, I've ever encountered be live uh be, be live and and actually in fairness the, the amazon live selling community live influencer community again yes. everyone yes. everyone is just helping each other there's no yes. competition because they're all different and it's just you know it's just everyone helps each other it's so cool so cool yeah let me now let's see if i can get these out of here oh I took about oh. all righty then let's do some cooking oh Carol <laughs> thanks you love for with our outfits i know i'm just a name dropper <laughs> well, I'm just a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Uh, so I'm just trying to use that. I'm, I'm taking your lead and I'll have to ask to um, oh, no, hang on. That is this is where it's all gonna be this is where it's all gonna be weird and wonderful because I've got to move my microphone. That's the I'm on you okay so i'm just gonna i'm gonna kick off by uh let me just switch my camera and uh just so you can see there we go doing. so i've got two cameras and you've got the big one that little where it goes the uh where where it goes off there goes you know that's it just changing cameras <laughs> yeah <laughs> It is. Many of friends and families, we are here. We're doing this for you, and because we enjoy it, but we're doing it for you. So, um, <laughs> rather than say, "Here I am," good day to everyone. Did I miss out on the cooking, chicken adobo or adobe, depending on where you put some things? Steve and San Rafael are having just a nice chat in the other chat, and says, so "What is that? What you are using to make like this? We're doing chicken adobo." Uh, chicken and Um Now, let's ask you, Nick, what oil do you use for cooking since you've been to the middle of the The oil, oh, now that, uh, yeah, that depends. Um, yeah, for cooking, I normally use a, like a, a nut oil. Um, let me go back here. Uh, yeah, uh, a nut oil is my... Coconut, and coconut, macadamia. Ah. Now, it depends what I'm doing. But nut, nut, the reason I use nut oil is because it's got a very high burn point, so you can't really burn it, which is good. Um, but uh, for, for low heat cooking, then I'll use olive oil. Like that. Sorry, Adair. What was that? Is that your peanut oil or something like that? Yeah, peanut oil. Yeah, any nut oil. It's got a, it's got a high a high burn point. So then, for yeah. for, for more gentle cooking, uh, I use olive oil because I just like the flavour. Um, and then for salads, I'll always use virgin olive oil, um, and then chuck some flavour in that as well. So there's a great tip, folks. Don't I like to use. Don't cook with raw food. Don't cook with oil. Don't don't eat with your mouthful. Don't talk with your mouthful. Don't cook with uh, olive oil. Um, I'm going to promise you, so please go ahead and pour it over the cup. Right, Ross so I'm not going to. Ross says you can hear the echo, so you can change. I'm just going to refresh. Yeah. 
Yeah, you started to record. What I'm doing, I'm just going to kick off with, um, I'm not using any oil right now, because I'm actually going to just brown my uh, brown my chicken. And I'm going with, uh, I've gone with chicken thighs, um, because they are super robust. Um, I have to ask. All right, so I've heard using any oil and one of the things that I would do first is put oil in so if I don't put oil in am I going to burn this sorry there hold on my chicken is sizzling so loudly I can't hear you <laughs> just oh, getting okay. those uh, just going to get those ground off so I'm literally a hot pan just for a, a couple of minutes just to get some colour into the into the chicken okay i'm using picking thighs um, because they can they can take that intense heat and length of cooking if i'm using if it was chicken breast um it'll, it'll go it'll be quite dry whereas thighs will stay moist so i'm just getting a bit of browning on them then i'm going to take them out and uh we'll add the next ingredients so as we talk of Still have my, I still have my uh, marinade in there. Let me show you that. I didn't, I didn't hear a word of that, so I'm just going to put the um, oil in, and then right. you put the chicken on after asking you. Yeah, so, so which part of the chicken have you used, Adair? What was that? Which, which, cut, which cut of the chicken are you using? I, what I was wondering was, do you, why did you go and put the, the oil in first? Oh, they look like little strips. But well, it's a bit hard to hear, so I'm just going to have to do something with the speakers, I think. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so if you're listening now, can you let me know if the echo has, has gone? gone? Um, um, I, I think, think I know why there's an echo. I love it. <laughs> I love it. There is doing the, the delicate chicken of there. Um, Get her away. Okay, I'm just going to turn the chicken over. And this me has no idea what I'm doing, but I did get some garlic stuff. <laughs> I'm talking over you, Nick. I apologise. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to show you my, just going to switch my camera so I can show you how I've browned the chicken breast, the uh, chicken thigh, brother. So there they are. So just browning them on either side. And I've left the skin on because I want the, I want the fat of the skin to, to, to be part of the flavour as well. So that's going good. And if you see, that's the reason I didn't put any oil in, is the amount of fat that actually renders from the chicken thighs as well. So oh, a, okay. Those are loads of fat in there. But because they've been marinating, I can see that it's all lovely flavour. So that's good. I'm just gonna grab myself an onion, a brown onion, and some water. So I've got a little bit of water. Oh, we're making the same dish. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got all the chicken in it. Yep, they're cooking nicely. I'll switch the I'll switch cameras back onto back onto us there. So yeah. Nice. Okay, so I've just had a couple of minutes. I'm going to take them out. Looking yes, lovely. Well, so you, you get brownie points for browning. Mine's just burning. <laughs> I'll put them somewhere safe so that they don't, uh, so that I don't eat them while I'm watching. Okay. So now we want. So we kept the uh, the nice sauce, like the nice fat. It's rendered off, that's still in the pan. Still got a nice marinade. Just going to quickly 
slice I'm up the onion. 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 Hopefully, hopefully I won't lose my fingers. Um, I have the biggest onions <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Not quite sure where they came from. But let me just uh, take the skin off. Yeah, that's nice. There. Could have a little onion cutting masterclass. But am I going to be around the wrong way? I think that's a trouble. That's a shame. So there you go. There's my onion on the board. I'm around the wrong way. So we've got the core end. Keep that intact. Uh, and just literally slice down as near to the core as you can get. But not through the core because that holds the onion all together. And this is also why you don't cry because if you don't cut through the core, the chances are it won't release all the juice, which is the stuff that makes you cry. So, another couple of slices downwards and lengthways, and then just gently run it along your finger. And that gives you a lovely fine diced onion. Uh, and because that's such a big onion, I'm not going to use that last bit, but normally I would cut it right the way to the core. And there you go. That is fine diced onion. There you go. And it's just one of those little things that just makes just makes things taste nicer because it's always got the same. It's always got the same. Uh, all those little bits of onion are all the same size. So, and that's and that's one of those little known things in cooking. That actually is really quite important. Um, it makes a, it makes a difference if everything's everything's the same size, everything cooks at the same time. Um, so there you go, little cooking tip while we're going along. So that's my onion in. I'm putting more garlic in as well. So there. I oh, think I we've got the same. Can you hear this noise? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can now. I'll put my head from and Ros is saying, it's a, is it a gas burner I'm using? Yes, it is, Ros. It's, a, it's not even a gas burner, but it's just a two burner hot plate that's set into the bench top. So it's, a, it's very, um, it's pretty basic, but it does the job. And Chris is here. Chris Derbavan. Hello. Hey, hi, Chris. And again, Great using the. You using the garlic crusher same one as last week um it's on my carousel on my channel you don't even have to peel your garlic you just pop it in Oop, crush it <laughs> try try to aim for the pan <laughs> and uh, and your garlic goes in there skin comes away and all good so i also now need to do a bit of stirring Let me just... stirring no that doesn't sound like you at all a little bit of cleaning up Keep it nice and gentle, he's nice and tidy. Things. He's one of these people that's going to um, have this all cleaning up after ourselves because he makes it look so easy. Oh, it's, it's, in, it's important. If you get it all cleaned up, then you know where you are. You know where you're going. And that's all My mother loves you. <laughs> you go, I've been trying to teach you there that for 50 years. <laughs> Cool. Now, yeah, I'm trying to get back. Do remember to invite your friends and family, family along. Um, your loved ones, your friends, family, and loved ones, not mutually exclusive, I'm sure. Um, we'd love to see you. Yeah. But I think, I'm not sure if we're live on Amazon yet, uh, still. You're and not so sure? Just, well, I think we've just been bumped out. <laughs> Oh. oh, well, we carry on. So that's the marinade going in, a little bit of water going in as well, because that's gonna that's gonna do the cook the chicken. And that's gonna provide the sauce. So now I can put the chicken, our brown chicken goes back in. You do that and I'm gonna jump back on over here. So that's going in there. And again, don't waste any of that lovely marinade and juice from the chicken. That's lovely. Seriously, boss, 
<laughs> so, and then you can either, what we'd love to do is, uh, let me switch my camera so I can now show you where I'm at. So, with the chicken adobo. Here we go. So, that is now uh, simmering away in the pot. Oh. So, oh, the so skin yes, is nice and brown. And uh, you've got the onions, the garlic, all looking good. Now, is there any, is there an ingredient, <laughs> is there an ingredient I've missed? Is, uh, is a big question. Um, yeah. And Joe or, or Bev, if you've got to, no, and Joe, mine's not almost done. That's, that needs to, the chicken needs to cook. So, um, so yeah, don't worry. We've got a good, Plenty of time right. for that. And now, now this can actually sit and um, this can now sit and simmer just nicely. Um, I think on my recipe it said you could simmer it for twenty minutes, but the reality is the chicken thighs. Um, you know that that meat will just get tender, and I I love it. I, and I, I've got to admit, I did it on the bone as well. I, I did the thighs on the bone because I I love the uh, I love the bones because you get more get more flavour. Uh, and also by the end of it, then the actual the, the meat just falls off the bone, you know. And and I know I know some people like to suck the bones if they've got a bit of flavour on them as well. So always nice. So I like the bone. <laughs> and, and of course, I don't know whether it's the same in Australia, but in the UK, it's so funny. You pay so much money to get uh, to get chicken breasts or chicken thighs that have been deboned and everything. And actually, you know, you can buy buy a chicken and joint it and and uh, cut it all up um for, for less than it costs you to buy a couple of chicken breasts in, in in some shops it's just it's crazy but again i think it might be another dying art another thing that i really enjoyed about cooking was was knowing how to learning how to joint um different different uh, different animals because I, 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 oh, really? I had to do a yeah for my diploma i had to do a, i had to do a rabbit <laughs> Which, which actually really upset, really upset Debbie. So I had to go buy a, buy a rabbit. Obviously, it was it was skinned. I didn't do I didn't do the skin myself. Um, and of course, the bat. So it's had its head and its legs and its tail. And of course, the ears are still on it as well. So Deb was like very unhappy with me. <laughs> How could I possibly do that to a, to a lovely rabbit? I said, well, I said I didn't. You know, it was, it was just there. What was, what was I supposed to do? You know, but it was good. But maybe maybe one week we'll do a we'll do a we'll do, a, we'll do a easy how to joint a chicken because you've got so oh, much stuff. I, you would definitely win that one. My, uh, oh yeah, no, I, I love it. I don't, I don't really, no, I wouldn't actually. I used to uh, I used to, I grew up on a farm, and um, one of the things that we used to do was we'd go out rabbit hunting, and I was oh, um, yeah, we go Christina. My dad used to go ra rabbit hunting in his day. We used to go rabbit hunting and roo hunting as well. And, oh, wow. um, um, but, well, they become, they were, they were at pest level, like, sort of. Um, oh, right, yeah. They were, yeah. Um, but we used to, we'd go out there, and I remember one night we were out in the, out in the paddock and we were getting around. We had this whole V8 holding up, flattened around, as you do, in the paddock. And, you know, they had, um, they had the gun. Someone said to me, Hold the gun, it's got this 22 rifle thing, and I'm going, This, what do I do with it? Which end do I hold? And they said, This And they chased it, and they got this poor little thing in the corner of the um, of the paddock, and it was like, It's like a rabbit in the head almost, because that's exactly what it was. And they're going, Shh, shh, shh. And I'm just going, <laughs> I pulled the trigger, and I hit it right between the eyes. And I was trying to. I don't think I've touched again since. I oh my goodness! I did like, not know. Like you, that rabbit chose to die, right? <laughs> because look, it was, oh, no. there was no way that I had my hands on it. I was you know, just because you know what you have one yelling out, shoot it, shoot it, and you just point it in the general direction. And next minute, it's laying on the ground with a bullet in its head. So oh. yeah, oh, no, it seems like he's. His parents used to be dairy farmers. That's what you do on the farm. Rabbit hunting. Oh, amazing. No, I've never, I've never done, I've never done that. I, I, 
so I've never, I've never actually had the opportunity to do it. Is uh, mm. is the truth? But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I'd, whether I'd. Uh, I think I'd be nervous about getting it wrong, and um, um, and the poor, oh. <laughs> the, poor, the poor little bunny uh, running off to Softly. die a long, cold, heartless death. Yeah. Because I didn't shoot him properly. Actually, it's quite. When I lived in Germany, we had a. When I lived in Germany, we had a lot of um, they had a Schützenfest, which is a shooting festival, and had a, the, oh. the king to oh, be wait, the king for the year. And there's a drinking festival here. <laughs> they call it, it Schützenfest. <laughs> ah, no, no. Actually, this is really this is this is one of the things that a joy to behold was that. You know, the, the, to be the king, you have to shoot the fogel with a bird on top of this pole. And the crazy thing was, you know, everyone would be taking shots at the bird, but pretty much the, the guy that was going to be king has already been preordained, sort of thing. They know who it's going to be. But all this involves a colossal amount of drinking as well. So, but cool. So, as they're drinking and shooting at the bird, because it takes a lot of shots to get this bird actually off the pole, they're getting worse and worse shots. And the, <laughs> the last one, the very last one I saw, was the poor bloke who was going to be king was he, he was swaying all over the place with his uh, with his rifle, and so one of the one of the best shots in the village <laughs> came came along and uh, and shot it for him. But uh, but it's so funny. When he used to, used to be signs up saying you know shoots and fest. It'd be a little red triangle on a white background uh, with a little bloke holding a gun saying you know so you've got to beware. And but oh my the, god. But they, but they, but they used to hunt um, wild boar and and deer and things like that. But you, yeah, to sell it, you had to, it had to be a clean shot. So it had to be a headshot. Otherwise, yeah. they couldn't sell the meat. Um, so they, yeah. there you go. That was, a, that was my interesting Germany story. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I could tell you about a stolen beer stone in Germany, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> Oh, now I have to say this is this is looking much better. This is more like all it. right. So Christina's got some cool stories. Now we we used to um, we used to we used to have to when they bring back the rabbits and the one and only time I went out with them and refused to after, but they bring them back these poor little bunnies and and then I I gut them and then peel the, um, the the skin and the fur off them and. And I'd, I'd make them into one of my favourite dishes, the rabbit. This isn't saying that you're all going to do, mm. but because we're not, uh, just saying, was um, sweet and sour. Uh, I'd make it like sweet and sour pork, but make it from scratch with, you know, the pineapple and the vinegar and the sugar and all the sauces. When you live on the farm, that's what you do. And uh, so when they bring back their rabbits, but what we did was we have to. Soak the rabbit for uh, at least 24 hours in soft water, otherwise it goes tough. So, Christina, did you see your dad doing that too? So, soaking the water, uh, rabbit in water, in salt water. Be interesting to know. Oh. You also inter so, interesting to know what happened to our rabbits on feed as well. Uh, <laughs> now, I just realised I did forget a, an ingredient, um, and that was the uh, the black peppercorns. So I'll just Pop to load in. Um, that, that was the work. only thing I got. Oh, that and the chicken is the only thing I got. Off the <laughs> yeah, those. Are, yeah. Just, yeah, chicken and pepper are your only actual adobo <laughs> elements. <laughs> I don't think it's the meat's not brown either, so you might have to give me lessons in how to brown meat. While we're doing this, folks, we need some suggestions on what we're going to cook next week mm, yeah yeah so and the criteria is it has so it has to be on the stove because we don't have well adair doesn't have an oven on her boat so we need to be we need to, uh, uh, and where is the recipe going to be posted oh yes ross um actually well adair's got the adair's got a copy of the recipe there you go here's the one i here's the recipe for the one that i was supposed to make Ooh. Oh, I didn't see it. I found you in there. It's a story there. <laughs> <laughs> a tuna more. Or your take. Oh, okay. Something I fishy. See the onion. Oh, my God. And the chili and the bay leaves. Yeah. Potato. 
Yeah, where does the potato come in? Obviously, I've not got potato because I'm on a carb-free uh, diet, so. Yeah, Diane, you might have to help us out there. If you're still here, please help us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get you back. Tuna morning. Christina's saying something fishy. Yeah. I think it's Fishies. something I'm putting up for a recipe that I haven't even followed. So I've got chicken in it. Yeah, you've got a yeah, look, something fishy. You should be nailed on a dare, won't you? Crikey. I I'm I've yet to cook a fish. I've caught fish and I've um scaled and um prepared four fish ready in readiness to be eaten and then we had some uh, drama with some electrics and had to empty out the fridge and uh, and bail so some things got sacrificed and the fish were for all those things that were sacrificed oh. now if i'm going to duck over here out of sight and i'm just going to open the fridge to uh, open the fridge door and throw my scraps in <laughs> so i'm going to open the kitchen door and throw my scraps out <laughs> yeah, there's a, never go to Adair's fridge. It is full of scraps as she gets the doors mixed up. But you while know? you're doing that, Adair, I'm I'm busy. I'm doing cauliflower rice. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, so preparing cool. my cauliflower. And actually, it's really good cauliflower rice and cauliflower mash as well as a as a potato substitute. Um, yes. I did a cauliflower mash last night, so basically it's the same sort of thing that I'm about to do now, but in a pan to make it a mash, I just added butter and double cream. This yeah. is why I yeah. love this keto diet. It's you know you get to eat stuff that is really nice, um, and uh, and yeah, and salt and pepper, and just mashed it around in, and it was great. Mashed it around in the in the pan, beautiful, mm. beautiful. So. Uh, <laughs> Christina is saying she used to work in the Sadi factory in, uh, in Sadi factory. Is that a factory, uh, Christina? At West Beach. She remembers one of the uni guys was studying squid. Oh, Sadi is a factory. It's a research centre. I read it as sardine factory. I'm going, what? Many <laughs> guys were studying squid. He sent an email to me saying he was a proud father of a thousand squid. He explained that to your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. And oh, uh Ross the cauliflower flesh and rice. She loves butter. Yeah, it's great. Now Ross, I don't know how you I don't know how you make yours, but this is and again, this is uh this is my uh, Nutri Ninja, my scary piece of equipment um, that <laughs> that makes makes this so easy. So all I'm going to do is just gonna take some florets off here. I'm just going to pop them um, on solo. So all right, okay. So just okay. So just literally just taking some florets apart, and the reason being is that I need to fit them into the into the Nutri blender, and uh, so I'm going to make them fairly. More. The other way to do this is um, you can always just uh, cheese grater, but for me that was all rather messy and and un unnecessary. So here we go. There's me. There's me Nutri. Uh, I love it because it, you can't get in without it locking, or you can't get. So that's there. So basically, this has got. Oh man, it's got these three levels of razor sharp cutting um that's why it scares me <laughs> is the only thing so uh so yes yeah, so we're just gonna put our cauliflower in there ron Ooh. says she's got a thermomix and i've just popped the thing up there saying who thinks nick is showing off <laughs> <laughs> yeah look it's my i do love it i do love kitchen equipment it makes life easy so get the arrows pointed each other. And That's Chris, all Christina was in a government business where they did their research. It wasn't a sardine factory at all. Bad me. <laughs> cool. So we've got all these different things. Now, do not do food puree because that will just puree your cauliflower and it will be horrible. So pulse. Uh, 
That's two little pulses. I reckon one more pulse and they're good to go. I'll give it one for luck. Yeah? Yeah, go on. There you go. There we go. And that is it. That is your cauliflower all riced up. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'm just going to lay this out on a on a there's a couple ways to do it but because i have got an oven there i'm just gonna i'm just gonna lay it out in the, in a little warm oven and uh, that will warm it through and it give it that nice rice texture because you don't want it to be sticky i want it to be as if it was a nice dry rice if i was doing real rice i'd cook nice dry rice so you've got to be oh. a real bacon there <laughs> <laughs> got to be a real bacon i think i've just burnt chicken Gosh, yeah. oh, so, She's saying either her thermomix does it pretty good or your new does it pretty good. Yeah, I mean, let's see if I can show you here. Hang on. Uh, take that off. Amazing blade. It's interesting that over here I've got it's all the heat is not it's not distributing the heat evenly because the saucepan's too big or the, the fry pan's too big. Oh really? Oh yeah, so we, yeah, which frying pans are, are you using? I'm using my circular on ones. Um I, I've got a I've got just a um I I, I don't even know where I got it from when um, but I had a beautiful set of stand pan, stand pan cookware back at Adelaide. That's, um, that's come with the eggs, but I'm going to see if I can get another set of cookware at some, some point. Um, Ross is saying Nick Ninja does a good job of writing the cauliflower. Yeah. Oh, now, look, at, um, look, look at that, guys. That See, now that was so much quicker than trying to do it with a, a cheese grater. And I've got to admit, I wasn't expecting to make so much rice, but as I'm reliably informed, rice is life. So even if it's cauliflower rice. <laughs> and Christine has the same ninja. She's only used it for smoothies so far. That well, actually, <laughs> yeah, that oh yeah, Christina is is okay. great, and that was the reason I bought it was to make smoothies. But do you know what? I've never made it with it. I've never made a smoothie. <laughs> but the other thing it does have, it's um got all these. You have all these it's no, like I've a got, whole food like, presser yeah. type. Yeah, it's like a whole food presser type thing. So you've got this this bit which is uh wider, again with razor sharp um razor sharp thing, uh cutters, but also I've not tried this yet, but I might do for some uh, low carb bread, but it also has instead of the razor sharp cutters, it's like a, a dough a dough hook mechanism. Oh, so you can do that. Yeah, so, so just try that. Maybe you know, make, some dough. make make fish pizza. Fish pizza. <laughs> I can make I can do pizza in my frying pan. I may have to. I may have to have. May have to have the generator off. Chris, getting what's she doing? She's laughing. Yeah. Um, uh, she's going that one you can make bread dough. Yeah. Now, what I'm not sure, I hope Joanne's watching or not watching. I'm not sure. I've got some ginger kombucha here. This is getting a bit dry. <laughs> ninja cook, yeah. yeah, the two, the two things. things. The two things that I live by are like kitchen, kitchen uh, gadgets that I love yeah. are yeah. Yeah, the, the Ninja um, and also I've got a KitchenAid um, food mixer as well. So, and I, I love that. That's just a, a great piece of kit as well. And one day, maybe, I don't know, depending on what we're going to do next week, if we need some butter in the recipe, I'll show you a really quick way to make butter. Um, Ooh. I know. It's way, way easier than you might think <laughs> if you've got the if you've got the right equipment that is yes oh, yes I, you know, I i promise you i do not have a big old-fashioned wooden butter churn we will not be standing for an hour and two hours just churning 
going on. Turning the, there's a there's a better way. Yeah. It's funny, but every time before I plug anything in, I look at how many watts it is, and how much oh. how much electricity I'm going to use. Of course. That's of the course. price. That's the price you pay for not paying for your electricity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I think I keep forgetting. Yeah, you, you are. You, you do an amazing job mm -hmm. considering you know, your your challenges on power. I did get really excited when the uh, the three panels were hooked up today, and now we've got a thousand and fifty watts pumping when it's sunshine, pumping oh, wow. the batteries. Um, we there was uh, two seven. Hang on, let me just see what were there before. So. That's cool. So this is so this is like your solar energy, because you do, do you have have you got little whirly wind generators as well? Not, not yet, not yet. So we did have five hundred and fifty watts of uh, power. I think it's watts or kilowatts or something that were five hundred and fifty. What they were pumping in um, kilowatts. Uh -huh. each day for two panels but now i've got three panels and they're bigger like they're smaller panels but they're more high high grade so they're so all together and, and lined up together there are over a thousand um lots of power so i'm hoping that we won't have to um charge it uh, keep the batteries topped up with the generator like we do because i'm at the moment i've got lots of lights on and you know, lots of electricity being pulled through one thing on its own doesn't take much, but when you add up the fridge and the lights and the computer and the lights up here, it all it all adds up. So, um, and the beauty of this, I love it, is when the um, the sun comes along the next day and puts it all back in. But yeah, the wind generator is on the list of things to get. Oh, Roz nice. Is giving you a, Roz is giving you a sunflower. <laughs> nice, nice. You put water in, I'll put kombucha, I'll just chuck the ginger in as well. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of, I should have some. Oh. I should yeah. have thought that through. Now I've got little sticks of ginger that are going to sit here. Yeah, right, that's it's awesome. Sure, I'm just popping a little bit oh. of, um, a little bit of brown sugar in as well, just to... That's going to help it become a lovely little glaze. Roz is saying she'll need to take a photo of her really old kangaroo butter churn. Please do, Roz. We'd love to oh, see yeah. And Christina, it doesn't hurt to know the old fashioned way. At least we can survive. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's brilliant oh, right. there that, that, you know, that you're using solar power. I just find that. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I, I love it too. When it's, as long as, you know, um, it's getting there. And we'll get it, like you said before, the whirly, the wind turbine, that's on our list of things to get, on my list of things to get. But I'm keen to get a, um, a prop, an electric winch for the anchor. Uh, because when oh. I do that, what? That is tasting amazing. <laughs> Well, I've got no idea what I put in mine now. Shall I give it a taste? <laughs> oh, that is now it's got that little bit of sweetness. It's got a little sweetness from the brown sugar, tanginess from the from the vinegar, a little bit of soy, and uh, the peppercorns, adding a little bit of heat and also more depth. Oh, it's gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to do a so I've got my rice. Cauliflower rice, chicken adobo. I'm going to do a little cucumber -y job. <laughs> Ross says she can almost smell them. Oh, Ross, I don't, I don't know about you, Adair, but it does, it does smell beautiful. And as I say, it just tastes. I'm double, mm. I'm double dipping with my spoon because it is only me. I just, I just do that with my fork. Mm. I hope Mum's not watching. Well, I hope she is mm. actually. Oh, gorgeous. I should be drooling, but I'm not. <laughs> I took too much poetic license. I haven't got cauliflower. What 
I have got is a side salad. Oh, side salad. Yeah, but here's what I prepared earlier. So we nice. do need to, um, we need to know what we're going to do next week. Has anyone got any ideas? Yeah, we got any any advance on some sort of fish? Um, <laughs> because if it was a dare, a dare just needs to just put her rod outside of her back door, and uh, you can get fish. But um, yeah, I'll have to be a fish that I can get. If it's if it's uh, something to do with um, what's easy for me to get, um, like a sea bass or uh, something we could do with a, a fillet of fish or yeah. Okay. I don't know, keep the keep the suggestions coming in, guys. I'm sure I'm sure I'll be able to find something. So uh, we, I put that right out at the door the other day and, and pulled up a brim, and I had a piece of halloumi on it. And I'm going, oh. who knew that? Who knew that fish like halloumi? Um, yeah, that sounds like they're vegetarian Chris, fish. Chris says, yeah. Chris says he's hungry too. Uh, I'm assuming Chris, are you a you a Chris male or Chris female? Chris says they're hungry too. Didn't know chicken adobe adobe adobo. Not adobe. adobe. No, Chris. <laughs> yeah, no, adobe. I can confirm Chris is a lady. So a lady in Belgium. And, uh, Chris is okay. Great to meet you, Chris the girl. And uh, Ross says if she was cooking, we'd be smelling smoke by now from where we are. Um, <laughs> And Christina says, fish with saffron. Oh, that, that sounds a bit fancy, Pez. Oh, I love that idea. Fish with saffron. I'm getting nervous. I'm really <laughs> feeling like all the way out of my depth. <laughs> no, oh, saffron's my, my favourite, uh, not my favourite flavour, to be honest. I used, to do, um, I used to do saffron roast potatoes, thanks to Delia Smith. If you're old enough, you'll reckon you'll remember who Delia Smith is. She was a very big back I'm, in the day. I'm, I'm thinking toast of Vegemite sandwiches. It looks like it's some sort of fish dish. Do we do we want the fish dish specified or are we going to um are we going to do a fish dish? Of our own that we do, like do our own unique fish dishes. Dishes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, actually, you're there. Do you have a, a fish, fish, fish no, that, that you like to make? I mean, uh, um, I like to buy fish and chips from the fish shop. <laughs> yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe next week we'll just have fish and chips then. Although I, I don't think my fish and chip shop will be open that early. So so you can just put well, your feet up and I'll make fish and as chips. I, <laughs> as, I'm, as I'm open that lap, so, you know, we're all even. Um. Yeah, now I've just turned my heat up a bit just to reduce, just to reduce down my, my adobo. I'd like to, I, in my in my salad, I've got lots of the bits and pieces out of my herb garden, <laughs> which I'm not going to show off tonight because I have no light there and it's a mess. I've just put it, picked everything up off the kitchen bench and put over there. So, um, but yes, if we do it a bit earlier next week, it'll be breakfast for you, and uh, <laughs> we'll have to work it out so we can do it a bit earlier. That would be nice. Yeah, let's let's do that. I mean, I, I'm more than happy to have a have a fishy breakfast. Fishy breakfast. So, what are we going to yeah. do, ladies and men? <laughs> Roz can't get over the fact that I wasted halloumi on a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, "It's got to be ham and cheese toasties." That's so good. That's gold. Ham and cheese toasties. Oh my goodness. Ham, cheese, and tomato rolls. 
Mm. I don't know what I'm doing, but I haven't put the onion on. So those garlic chives that I've just put on the top there, they come they come from my daughters. Uh, oh, nice. A beautiful, beautiful big tub of garlic chives, and she gave them to me, and I went, oh, thank you very much. And they're growing, they love it here. They're growing really well. Yeah, it's got well, the tomato, but oh, this is gold. This is gold. This comment, this is the comment of the show. I'm still aghast. <laughs> That you wasted the oh. movie on a fish. Now, there you go. Look, that is the rice all done. That looks good. And that is that is absolutely tasty as. That is brilliant. And it's light. It's so did you, did you, light, did you put dry. Any, did you put any oil or anything on it, or is it just straight up rice whizzed up straight. in the ninja and bunged in the oven? Bunged it in the oven for about six, six minutes, 180 um, and then I just literally just now I just uh, sprinkled on some uh, molden sea salt, and uh, yeah, that's good. As you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, nice. It's hot. It's steaming. The seasoning. There you go. You can see it's steaming, um, but it's not sticky. It, it's nice. It, it's got that rice texture. Don't get me wrong. It tastes like cauliflower. <laughs> Well, but, there's uh, that other one as well. Hang on, I'll see if I can find it. This one. Oh. I know I keep, I keep, I'm like a drug pusher with my um, konjac. Not yet. Mm. But this is oh, the no, rice. I, yeah. Oh, now I've, ord I've ordered some. It should arrive tomorrow. So I'm going to this try it rice. out. What I think is good about the cauliflower as well is once you put it in, if you've got it in other with other food, it's um it's very flavoursome. Like it brings on the takes on the flavour of the food that it's in. And this is the, one of the yep. things I love about the konjac. Oh, Spaghetti fettuccine. Yeah. Let's do a fettuccine. Yeah, actually, I bought a pack. Now, guys, you can find this if you're watching on on Adair's Amazon channel. Don't no, quick... we, we're not. That, we left oh, the stream. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But I, I got it off off Amazon, so I think I paid. It was seventeen pounds, but it was for a pack of there's uh, rice, past different types of pasta, um, and a couple of other bits. And I thought yep, yep, yep. that's not bad. So let's let's give that a go. I think it was a pack of ten different different types. That's not bad. Seventeen pounds. No, that's what I thought. That's even better, actually, because I didn't realise I'd got a £7.50 left on an Amazon gift card I hadn't used. So I got them all for a tenner. Isn't that nice? <laughs> isn't that nice when that happens? Oh, isn't it just? Oh, look, I just pressed my computer and it says 11.11. 11. Oh, well done. Numbers, that's numbers. It's 8.11 here. And we've got... We've got 11.11. 11. Okay. Oh, Ross says she's still got the stream happening live. Okay, well, there you go. I better get over there and see because I couldn't find it. Thanks, Ross. Oh. Cool. Okay. So, right, so I've got those cucumbers. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you doing there? Yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm just a bit lost here with the... <laughs> stream because it doesn't say don't know how to get back to the live stream so oh it's, it's um i thought it had gone but anyway pop over and say hi oh there we are it says live and not scheduled return to live That's stream okay. i'm sure Ross Ross. Was right. Ross, no she was right there we are so Ross is over here she's going Oh, she's telling me off on both platforms. She's saying on Amazon, you wasted a loomy on a fish. And on Facebook, she used the uh, word aghast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ross. Yeah. Am I going to flavor the cucumber? Yes. I'm going to I'm going to flavor the cucumber with a little bit of um, oil, olive oil and chili. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm with you on that. If I was, if I was making a, when I make a salad, um, I, I normally take out the, the the um the the seeds and I'll peel as well depending because it just yeah it's not much to it is it yeah. I like think, eating um, I think yeah cauliflower oh, cauliflower is um cucumber 
is something that's best added to other stuff. Um, so you can make something fancy like Dadzinski or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I have well, another glass of kombucha? Um, now, Christina <laughs> wants to know how to make cauliflower pizza base. Mm, I don't know. You, but well, we can find out. I've made, and cauliflower, try. I've made cauliflower bread and I've made cauliflower pizza base. The trick with it is if you do pre cook the cauliflower, you do it just for a couple of seconds in the microwave and you have to make sure it's dry. So you get the it's quite labor intensive because you've got to bring it out in a muslin cloth, you know, the cheesecloth, and you've got to make sure that it's completely dry. And then you put lots of eggs with it and you can use almond flour and um, mix it up into like a dough. And then, um, but there's, if you did a, um, a Google search on cauliflower pizza base, um, I'd, I'd make it for you, but I can't. So. No worries. We can maybe do that. I haven't done it for a while. Maybe we can have a fish pizza. Ross says, Ross says the olive oil is all she likes of that <laughs> mix. The chili is oh chili. I forgot chili. How could I forget chili? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some chili flakes in. I do have I do have real chili, like real chili as opposed to fake chili. <laughs> Oh, I've got yeah, I've got. I can't bring it in. I've got a chili plant in my in my lounge, which is doing rather well. Of course, ah, that was not supposed to happen. Oh no! <laughs> Shall I scrape it out? For this <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh, uh -oh. it's uh -oh. a kitchen catastrophe. Well, while you're doing that, I'll quickly show you. Where... I'll quickly. <laughs> you like chili, then? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like chili, but that's like Yeah, Ros, I think I think it's a bit too hot for you. So So there you go. There's the There's a the chicken adobo just sat there quite happily. And that's a that's that's the lovely the lovely sticky glaze now as well with the onions, the corns. Oh, look at that. There's mine with the chili and whatever else is in there that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> then you've got the rice over here. There's all our rice looking lovely. What a great Chris mm. is saying, here's a question, but there are no stupid questions, Chris. Uh, now with the rice, I heard it there saying a word that sounds like cognac. Oh, but it will be something different. We'd love to learn from you. Fred. Please, can you help me? Thanks for that. It's called... Uh, Conjac, sorry, K O N. Hang on, I'll put it in the news feed. So K O N J A C. Conjac. It's a vegetable. It's a very versatile um, vegetable that is um, so there. Ross said it's upside down, but I'm not sure how the. Here we are. That one, fettuccine. That's a fettuccine one. Nice. It's uh, made from a vegetable called konjac, and it's um, less than one gram of carbs per serve and only 11 calories per serve. It's quick and easy to prepare. Rinse, heat, and eat. I don't even rinse it. I just heat and eat it. So that's fettuccine. And I use, I use that for the um, the for the pad thai base last mm, week and the week yeah. before the week, our first cook off i used the spaghetti so that one's like the flat one like a fettuccine but that's that's nice i reckon it'd be nice to make carbonara and see what's like in that oh um, yeah that's nice yeah. Ooh. you frozen. can do that you can have bacon and cream and yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ros oh, yeah, said, and it's available where? Um, Ros, I'm going to put it on my Amazon site. Uh, I haven't yet, but I will. But you can also get it in the health food aisles at Woolworths and Coles if you're in Australia. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm. Ros wants to know what you're doing with your cucumber. <laughs> was, I, was I doing that on camera? Um, yeah. <laughs> No, I basically was just adding chili, chili cakes, um, some chili flakes, dried chili, 
um, some uh, spring onion tips uh, and some olive oil and a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to mix it up and uh, hopefully that'll be nice. Hey, Corinda, how are you? Wow, long time no see. Hey, hi, Corinda. Hope you will. Let's see if I can get back to the live stream. I think I'm getting the snails. There you go. All right, Stephen's saying, Hi, oh, Joy, thank you for the follow on Amazon. Appreciate that. Um. Oh, and Ros is saying, I'm making lots of comments knowing they won't stay. And then Stephen's responded, the comments do not stay on Amazon, but I dare can see them after the broadcast on my iPhone or iPad. And Ros is saying, goody for the cognac. Cognac, mm. yeah. I think you can see your comments. You can see the comments on your Amazon feed after the mm. event. If you go mm. on your, you can see them, mm. Adair. Um, yes. If you, if you but go other on your, people can't, so oh, yeah. Can't. So I'm cool. going to just pop this Gobi kombucha on if you're on Amazon and you want to grab a, a make your own kombucha because I'm I'm planning on doing a hey let's make a kombucha program at some point and uh, and then I tell you I was making kombucha the other day and I've got it over here. In the corner, you can see up there. Well, pull up there down. That's not much fun. Um, and I, I went to pour because you, you rinse out the containers with hot water, and I, the water with the tap is not very hot. I need to get a new gas heater, but you know, it's probably set like that so you know, idiots like me don't <laughs> burn ourselves. And, but it's not, I don't think it's hot enough to kill germs, and so I. I, I um, I guess disinfect or sterilize with white vinegar and hot water. And I thought I'll just boil the kettle. And I thought I had enough in the water in the um, container, but apparently not, because you know what happens when you put hot water into a, a cold container, a glass container? Oh, breaks. It, uh, yeah, it, it broke. The bottom of it broke off, just around the bottom. It just like someone had cut a piece of like completely off. It just and I could hear yeah. it cracking, and I thought kombucha on the stove and I'm going, oh shit, what am I going to do now? So I did a mercy <laughs> dash over to the mainland and I couldn't find the ones with the tap. So I've just got like jugs now. I've got a couple of jugs which uh, are going to have to do the do the job. So <laughs> ah, you got busted. Corinda's going, no. yo. I know. Yeah, it's it's like, yes, Corinda. Corinda, absolutely. I lick my spoon. As I said earlier, that uh, because it's only me, I will lick my spoon and double dip because it's only me. If I was cooking it for somebody else, no, of course I wouldn't do that. <laughs> they, yeah, Rob was saying they do break. So um, in the next one, in preparation for the next one, I've got a couple of uh, one-gallon glass containers there that are on the Amazon site. <laughs> so try them out. So Roz sacrificed a crystal bowl with hot custard. Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt. I'm sure there's many a mother's heirloom glasses and yeah, oh gosh, yeah, yeah. And whatever that have gone with. All oh, right, God. Mr. Raymond LeBlanc School of Cookery. What's next? Yeah, I'm. I'm ready. Are you? Are you done? Have you? Did you remove all the chili? <laughs> no. <laughs> From your chicken a day. No. <laughs> From my chicken a day. <laughs> from my chicken from my chicken beware <laughs> yeah. yeah no look, I'm, I'm, I'm done i'm ready to plate up now so there's my chicken adobo oh Ooh. my god that looks so good looking All good right. and the rice if i sort of and it around in there there's mine yeah it looks like something. didn't didn't want to brown yours then <laughs> I don't know how to do it properly. I need some lessons from someone who's gone to a cooking school or something. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Watch, watch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I make, I'm making a heck of a mess with this rice. I made way too much for one. Never mind. That'll, that'll do. So then, right. oh.
Oh, wow. Okay, oh, I'm here. oh, I'm loving this. Oh, my word. Oh, poor. That I might be so oh, yeah. it's, gone. it's gone sticky. I love it. It's worked. It's gone sticky. That's what I was asking. I'm not sticky enough down to the in the saucepan. <laughs> maybe that's too. Maybe that's too sticky. I need some help. I need help. Oh, I'm boy. No, I think I think I'm beyond help, Nick. Yeah, okay. Yum, yum, to boy. Rosa say, beautiful, Nick. So different to mine, but bet just as tasty. I'm not going yeah. to put it like that. Like it's full of freaking chili. Oh my God, Joanne. I wish I'd followed your recipe. <laughs> and Ros goes, that, if that's your lunch, yeah, that uh, is my yeah. lunch, Ross. I'll tell you what, and this is why I love cooking with a dare, because I've now got that for lunch. Mm. How cool is that? And with my little Sorry, my with my little cucumber, my little cucumber side as well. There you go. Um, oh, I'm just so happy. Ooh, it's, uh, that's it's nice. Sticky. All right. So mine tastes mine tastes a little bit tastes very pineapple-y. Uh-huh. And even though it didn't turn out anywhere near like a chicken adobe adobe is supposed to. Maybe it is a chicken adobe and not a chicken adobe. <laughs> yeah. I think you've created something new. I think I have. I think I have. I'm really liking the pineapple, so thank you for that. Mm. Um oh, Christina God. says it looks fabulous. And Beth says it looks so yummy. Oh, Those look Bev, great. Bev, Bev, this one worked. This one has gone sticky. It's clinging to the to the chicken. It's sweet. Well, it's tangy. Well, this is this is sweet and tangy, very pineapple-y, mm. and it's burning my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we weren't on camera, I'd actually be using my fingers because it's mm. absolutely cool. delicious. Didn't do it. <laughs> this is so cool. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Well mm. done. Ros is saying, oh well. I have to say that the, the chicken is the chicken is just don't hang on. Yeah, speak with your mouth or go for it. No, I'm waiting for it to stop being on fire. Yeah, and the and also the, oh. the cauliflower rice with it is mm. I wasn't I wasn't sure. I was so tempted to actually make real rice. Um, but no, that is no, it's just delicious. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Beth. Yes, gorgeous. Well, well done. Yeah. Well done. And Chris is saying Nick is a master in <laughs> mise en, mise en, mise en mise en recipe. Mise en place. Oh, you're gonna have to explain that. The recipes are so different, but they will taste marvelous. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put something, I'm going to do something else here because I can and I don't know if it's going to be a waste of um, <laughs> But I've got, there was something in Joanne's recipe where they said, where she said, over here, um, she said, put uh, fried garlic on it. So I have fried shallots. Hmm. Which I didn't fry myself. That'd be nice. That but gives it another nice, it. nice little texture. Yeah. So that might um. take the crunch might take my focus off the, <laughs> the heat. <laughs> yeah. In fairness to you, in fairness, so that wasn't your fault. That was just a, a <laughs> these these things happen uh, with the. I think I've, I've done that with salt before now, and it's just gone everywhere. And you think, oh, 
are there. I normally do it with chili or cayenne pepper, so you know it's my it's it's just what I do. Roz is saying thank you so much for the cook off. Love how entertaining it is, Roz. We love doing it. It's just you know. It's you, so yeah. You you is, keep watching. Roz will cooking. keep cooking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring your friends. Bring your friends. So we're going to um, just see if I can get back here, and we will um, see if there's any final words over on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, there's some things if you want to buy. There's um, all the kombucha stuff over in my list over there. There's some saucepans that you might want to have a look at. And these little chef knives. You had a great set of like your, your chef knives that you have. Like the, I'm I'm proud of this one because I can cut tomatoes, but you know, <laughs> you had your you had your big one the, the other week. That was really cool. Um we've got stainless steel cook cook. Um, uh, cook sets and I will get some konjac on there too because I think that stuff is if you can get it on Amazon you got yours on Amazon did you or I, yes yeah. I got mine yeah I just went on Amazon just looked it up and yeah it doesn't matter where yeah. you are I want, I want to know how much you've paid and Joe though <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm ignoring that uh, Ross said I'll try that cucumber salad uh, mm. She's put salt in coffee before. Yes, I have done that as well, and I don't even have sugar in coffee. <laughs> um, and Joe says, it's a chai! <laughs> no, no, it's a Filipina dish. <laughs> I think theirs was leaning more to a Thai. <laughs> I'm going to win the Benjamin sandwich one. Uh, Christina <laughs> makes for a great night. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So much. And Ross said we could be here till we need a walk. I, I do now. <laughs> but you know what? There's room for a lot of people. Can you imagine if we had someone else in here? We could have a three way cook off. Now there's an idea. That's true. We, we could. Yeah, I mean, yeah. oh, we, we could have four, couldn't we, on Be Live? We could. Um, we absolutely could. So if anyone's so game enough to step up, up <laughs> take that challenge but i don't want to i don't want to scare you <laughs> me either <laughs> yeah, you, you get yourself some suitable attire a tie maybe yes <laughs> i've got a tie i'll get a tie oh my god i've got a scarf <laughs> Close enough. i got i remember when my kids were young they had those little um the little uh aprons with the little cook's hat no, I was going to go out and get one of those, and I might just do that. Yet you never know. I oh, mean, no. wearing a hat, wearing a cook's hat or a chef's hat does not make one a chef. But it, you know, it would no. make me. Well, it's what my dad used to say: if you can't stun them with science, baffle them with bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't say all all the gear. No idea. <laughs> but I'd imagine, gear, I'd, no idea. I'd, I'd imagine those chef's hats would actually make you quite warm as well. But yes, it also keep, would, you yeah. keep, keep your hair off as well. It should be quite cool. Yeah, well, that's yeah. right. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm the only one that's eating strands of my hair. A tie is a bit formal, she says. <laughs> the camera can see through the smoke. Roz will be in it. Well, just alert your local emergency services and you're on. And uh, it, this is Roz's style of cooking. It's smoking. Smoking. All right, Lovely. good people. Cool. Oh, Adair, it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure again. Thank you so much. I know. It's so much fun. So much fun. And I've got something to eat at the end of it. Yeah, exactly. And I Come have my... make sure that I have some um, some yogurt or something afterwards that's going to calm my mouth down. Mm, yeah, no, I've got my lovely lunch now. That's beautiful. Um, and I've and yeah, got my lovely so, dinner. See, all these things, and you can buy all the all the kit we're using, you can get it from Amazon. So just go and have a little yeah, search. Yeah, just jump on um, over to Amazon. And that's great. And then uh, next week, uh, if we say over at my house, so that's uh, yep, we're Nickwood. Yep. Dot, Nickwood dot live is all you need to type into the URL, and that will take you there. And uh, we'll be cooking some sort of fish. <laughs> some sort of fish. And that might be... <laughs> I'm just thinking because someone said earlier, tuna more. Hey, that's fish. 
Yeah, that, well, yeah, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. I'm, I might I'm do, yeah, yeah. I might put you in the morning yeah. too. Might level the playing field. Chris is saying thank you. Ros is saying wonderful. Enjoy your meal. Have a great morning, day, afternoon, evening, everybody. I'm just going to go collapse on the couch and I'll clean Absolutely. <laughs> Have, Have a great, great day. Thank you for watching. Take Bye. care. See you soon.